Hey crew, it's Pit, and I'm back with a UE tutorial. We're going to be dealing with the Unreal Engine 5. We're going to be dealing with the assets that we created in the last episode. What we're going to do is, today we're going to add snap points. We're going to use the modular snap system that is available for free as a plug-in for Unreal Engine. This is incredibly handy if you're wanting to build a game or to make your own assets. Uh, all you have to do is download it. I'm going to assume that you know how to download, but this is the name of it: is the Modular Snap System. It's a great thing. Uh, once you have it in, you're going to want to go to Edit. You're going to want to install it and all of that stuff. But then, uh, the way that it works is, we're going to start here. I created a few more assets besides the walls that y'all got to see. Y'all got to watch as we created these walls. Uh, I've already brought them into the game and now we're going to make them work functionally. I've created also some uh, some other walls to give a more of a variety and some floors so that we have something to snap into. We're going to start on this floor here. We will drag this up to full screen. We will click on socket manager right here. Let's pull this out just a bit. If you click on the plus sign, you're going to create a new socket. It is important to note, <clears throat> if you're intending to use this to snap, which you should be doing, the snaps will only work for identically named components. So, this is a floor. So what we're going to do, we're going to go floor. But I also want it to work for the ceilings. The other part is going to accept the same socket. So this is going to be floor, ceiling. Um, you're going to want to make sure that your spelling is right. C-I-L-I-N-G. Ceiling. Alright. Now, whenever you create a new one, it's going to number it down. There will be an underscore and a number. The underscore and everything past it do not count. It is this word that matters. You want to make sure that everything you want to snap into the floor has floor ceiling on it. Alright, now what we want to do is let's go ahead and pull this we'll pull it all the way up. Alright, so I gotta remember, there we go, let me back this out See this little ball right here? This little white ball? This little white ball is your snap point. The snap point for it is in the center of this ball. <clears throat> so half of this ball will overlap the half of the other ball that corresponds to it. When you place it, you want to make sure you do so where half of the ball is sticking out of your whatever. Uh, that's going to put us on a z-axis of 100 right here. All right, and we're also going to pull this. Let's go ahead and just do it on this side because that's the side that's going to work anyway. We're going to pull this over to the side right here. All right, now. This, I'm going to pull this down to about the middle of this that's going to give us 96 and let's make sure we are good see how the ball is halfway we are good at 61 all right that's going to give us our baselines for what we're doing the red arrow needs to point in the direction that you want to attach to i'm pretty sure that there's a way to make the blue arrow work too but it's been a long time and I haven't researched it yet because this is going to work for what we need. We're going to snap this into other ones just like it along the side uh, using these snap points. But what we need to do is create a new one. Uh, actually, uh, let's do that the other way. And let's delete that one. We're going to take this and we will duplicate it. Uh, control D. Alright. It'll automatically number it for you. Uh, it uses, it skips a number. So, 
This one went from 1 to 3. If I had it underscore 0, it would go to 2. The, the numbering is not really that important. It is mainly just to differentiate it. Uh, we're going to take this one and we're going to go negative 61. And then we're going to need to rotate it along the z-axis. If you rotate along the axis, it's going to spin in around <clears throat> around that point. So if we rotate 90 degrees on the z-axis, it's going to spin like that. We need 180 degrees on the z-axis. Now it'll point out like that. If we needed it to go up, let's go back to zero real quick. If we needed the red arrow to come up, we would want to spin it on the y-axis. This is the red, this is the blue, this is the yellow. So we're going to want to spin it on the, on the y right here, and it would be 90 degrees would make it come up. Negative 90 makes it go down. But we want it to point out that way, so we're going to go 180 degrees like that. Then we're going to need to go ahead and duplicate this one. We're going to take this one. And instead of being negative 61 right here, we're going to make it negative 61 right here. And then we're going to need to spin that. <clears throat> this should be negative 90 because it was 90 to go the other way, right? And then we're going to duplicate that. And then it's going to be control D. And we're going to go positive 61. And then we're going to spin this to 90. It's uh, relative from when it comes in, so or from the front. So it doesn't matter. Like you would think that you're just spinning at 90 degrees. You just you need to put it in 90. That's not what it is. It is the absolute position. So it's going to be not relative to the piece that you're working, but to the world in general. All right. So we have all four of these pointing out. They are all located in the same area. That 96, I am actually going to write down real quick so that I will remember it here in just a second. And 96, and we will go ahead and do the 61 too. That'll come in handy. All right, so we're good here for that. But we're not done yet. We're also going to want to put in another socket. This one's going to be called wall. This one we're going to go ahead and pull all the way to the top one. That was actually 100. Right? That gives us the ball halfway out right there. Then we're going to take this over to 61. And we'll go ahead and spin this 90 and get it pointed. Well, actually, no, no, that's wrong. We're going to spin this on the Y 90 and put that up. Now, what's going to happen is when we make the wall socket, for the walls and we point it down it'll match up and it'll click right there it will not click like it will pick up I think a 10 degree difference so if you're not positioned quite right and you're 10 degrees off or less it'll snap it anyways but past that point I think it doesn't so uh, so it won't pick up like if you bring it and it's facing the wrong way if you've got your piece like if I had uh, only three sides had the, had the snap point right and I tried to put the side that didn't have the snap point against the snap it's not going to catch either any of those other three snaps and if this blank side is facing the snap side I can't drag it or, or anything and make it pop in the two arrows have to be pointing towards each other within a 10 degree um, variation okay so now we've got our first wall slot right there that is at 61 what that's 61 that's 61 that's 120 oh uh, this is a four by eight right yeah the, or four by four so we're good here uh, there will be more slot well we're not good good but we're good we're good here as far as putting in there'll be more on the next section all right, we're going to go ahead and duplicate this. I like moving things over here just because it is a lot more precise than trying to move them over there. This is going to be a negative. Oh no, this is still going to be 90. It's still pointing up. Uh, so what else did I need to do? This was supposed to be negative 61, not 51. 
it is at 100 it is pointing up we are good let's go ahead and get another duplication this one we're going to take over to the x-axis we're going to do 61 here and we will duplicate that one more time and that will go to negative 61 and that's all we really need to do for this for right now we're going to went ahead and got a save here i'm going to go ahead and catch a save up here that is two different things if you bring in any new assets uh, I have my autosave set for a really long time because I get annoyed with it. But autosave will save you a lot of times. Do not count on autosave. Save often, save early, save a lot, save a lot, save a lot. Because if you don't, you will regret it at some point. Make it a point of every time you finish a particular section of doing something, like we just finished all of those, save everything. That way if it crashes, You've got a restart point. You didn't just lose six hours worth of stuff. <laughs> All right. Since we got one wall done already, we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to do the corner right here. Y'all didn't get to watch me make the corner, but we're going to go ahead and do the corner. Uh, we're going to go to the socket manager. We want to pull this back out. Watch that go back slow. All right. All right. This one, we are going to go to wall. And we're going to make this rotate to a negative 90. So we're starting off right there. That is the wrong socket. Or the wrong variable. Negative 90 on the Y there, Pittman. Alright, let's pull this over on the X61. It's a 4x4 four four corner. Why did it not go... How far are they going to take me? That should not be... What just happened? We're going to see how it works. Oh! <laughs> Never mind. Let's take this back. 61. That's going to be the middle. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's going to snap in the middle. Okay. And then we need to make one for the other side. So we're going to go ahead and shift D or control D, not shift D. And then we're going to take this. And I'm not even going to try and guesstimate which I need to be doing here. We're going to just move it into place. That is going to be at a zero, maybe. Let's take it at a zero. No, it is well outside the bounds on the zero. Looks like my origin's not quite right here. Let me slow it down a little bit and get in here. All right, all right, all right. This needs to come over about that much. That looks like a 12, huh? I'm going to need to check that one before I get out of this. Y'all don't let me forget. All right, let's bring this down. All right, that might can come up just a hair. Yeah, one. That's awesome. All right, and then we're going to take this to the 61 here. Should give me the middle. That is pretty close to the middle, right? All right, and we can adjust this if we need to. We're actually just going to pop over. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Pop over here. We are going to save all. And then if we take this corner and this floor, We should be able to snap those together. Let's get a good angle here so you can see it happen. I'm going to pull this up. We will pull this over. And we just snapped to the outside of this right there. If we pull it, snap, snap. Looks like I'm going to have to make some measurement adjustments here we're going to take the snap point of this one because it wasn't right and this, it gets a little funky trying to navigate sometimes if we take this well, that needs to be a one where's this one at this one's at the wrong spot that's a yeah 
Let's take that one to one. That might be the entire problem right there. Let's look. It doesn't look like it. Looks like my wall might overlap a little bit more than I actually intended. Uh, I'll bring my, what I wind up doing is bringing my base here up by about six inches. Maybe three, but probably six. Let's pull one of these over just to get a look real quick. Right, we need to take you out of the way. Right. Uh, let's actually go ahead and throw a snap on this. Knee browse too. This is named wrong. That's a you know never mind. That's a four by. I'm, I'm a dummy. All right, sock it up. Bam. Let's get a wall in there. All right. We need this to rotate down 90, so that is going to be negative 90. And on the right variable pit, blammo, it is already in the middle of everything. All right. Save that. Save it all. Alright, now, let's snap it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm concerned that if I do another one of these, and another one of these, so let's get this bad boy duplicated out. And we're going to go ahead and rotate that by 90 real quick. Snap it back into place. What's my overhang look like here? Yeah. Alright, y'all are getting to see me troubleshoot live. That's actually pretty good. Uh, I was concerned that there would be too much overlap. But that's actually doing fairly well. Let's pull this bad boy in and look at him real quick. Alright, that looks like it is not lining up in the right position. This should be there. Well, no. It should be about here. I'm going to have to fiddle with it. And I'm not going to subject you to that. I hope that I've been able to bring you just a little bit of understanding of what is going on here. Uh, let's go ahead. The important points to remember is that Whatever it is named is what it will snap to. The red arrows have to touch. Uh, if the red arrows don't touch, it don't work. You also need to make sure that your your socket is halfway into what you want it to halfway meet. So in order to get them flush, you saw I had to bring, to get it flush on the bottom, I had to bring on the corner here. I had to bring this one down a little bit. That's because it was trying to match in the wrong spot. Once I got it positioned right, it pops up flush. I'm going to play with that in the same way to get the corners right. I may wind up having to make the static mesh a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit smaller. That's just a matter of re-importing. That's not a big problem. Uh, hopefully, this helps somebody. Uh, this would have been extremely helpful to have when I, when I was starting to learn this. So that's what I'm trying to do here is help you all with the things that would have helped me. Uh, to the crew thanks for hanging out i appreciate every single minute that you are here with me if you like what i'm doing give me a like share throw me a subscription give me uh some comments let me know what you'd like to see let me know where you get hung up if you got problems with this if you need more explanation if i'm skipping things that you like i'm really bad about that i i automatically assume everybody's got my knowledge level and if you don't then tell me let me know what you need to see Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate every single minute that you are here with me. I am praying for you every single day. Till next time, this has been Pitt. Peace.